Guys, Nigerians, please, I need you all to watch this video. And as you watch, you must take something away. I want our people, especially obedient in, in, in Southeast, our evil brothers, to see this video. When I see this lady where they talk for years, so, now she be clear definition of beauty and brain. Make me see how she take cure. How open I hear how she take cure people when they mobilize sit at home on election day. How can a right thinking evil man say many people sit down for house? When they say the most popular presidential candidate in Nigeria today is an evil man. Which freedom pass say an evil man? Can't be president. So now, what did ever happen since Nigeria get independence since 1960? What is your problem? How much they pay on to mobilize against your people? Could you be on a problem? Please, Nigerians, if you know, if you when they watch if you don't share this video, that means you are part of this terrorist mobilizing against Peter Obi. Let everybody see this video. Thank you, Lisa. Help me. If you don't go out and exercise your civic right before 4 p.m. on the 26th of February, Bola Ahmed Tinubu or Atiku Abu Bakar will be declared the winner because nothing will happen. There are some group of jobless men and women living in Asia, Europe, and America telling the people living in the Southeast, Ndibu, that they must sit at home on the 25th of February by fire, by force. They are living in Europe, no job, no work. Now, they now see that our people are too gullible. They see how hopeless our people are with the situation of Nigeria. They tapped into it. The message I have today is for people living in the southeastern part of Nigeria, Ndibo. This message is for Ndibo. Let me make it very clear to Ndibo. If you like, sit at home from now to 20 years. Nothing will change. You know why? Because you cannot continue doing one particular thing over time and expect different results. You will continue getting the same results. Listen again. Sit at home is not a gateway to freedom. Sit at home does not guarantee freedom. There are some group of jobless men and women living in Asia, Europe, and America telling the people, Igbo people living in the southeastern part of Nigeria that they must sit at home on the 25th of February. Now, let me tell you, whether you sit at home or you don't sit at home, before it's 4 p.m., somebody must be declared the winner. And if you sit at home thinking that somehow a magic will happen, no magic will happen. The jobless men and women living in Asia, Europe, and America that are telling you that when you sit at home, something will happen. Nothing will happen. Freedom is not coming from the skies. Neither is it coming from the clouds. Nobody is giving you freedom. These people don't have work. They need you to feed. Without you, they are hungry. Now, let me tell you again. It is your fundamental human right to go out and exercise your civic right. No man, no woman should deprive you of that right. And anybody you see enforcing sit at home on that day, that person must be treated like a terrorist. Any man or woman that is commanding you to sit at home on 25th is nothing less than a terrorist. It's a Boko Haram. Treat the person like a Boko Haram. Freedom is not coming by sitting at home. Sit at home. That is your business. I am not begging you not to sit at home. But it is your choice and it is your decision. If you say you don't want to be part of the system, it's all good. But you don't have any right to tell people. Threaten people. Now, I am telling you people that are living in the Southeast, once you see anybody that is enforcing sit at home, you must treat the person like a criminal. This boy don't have anything to do. This is a show boy. He's a criminal, a jaboda. He doesn't have a job. These are YouTubers. A YouTuber can never give you freedom. These are women that don't have anything to do again, living abroad, other than to continue telling you one particular thing every day. Sit at home for 40 days. 
Sit at home for 100 days. Sit at home. All the sit at home that you have been sitting, what did you benefit from it? You know, I don't blame you people because you are so poor, you are gullible, you are so senseless. That is why some group of people that Yahoo Yahoo business is not working for again. Now they have devised another means to start making money. And the means they devise is by extorting money from you, coming out every day to tell you something that can never happen. Sitting at home can never give you freedom. That is what I want you to understand. They are simply wasting your time and the little money you have because you are so gullible. Before the time we reach 4 p.m. on the 26th, Bola Ahmed Tinibu Atiku Abubakar will be declared the winner because you sat down in your house drinking on, uh, drinking uh, beer, eating on kobi, drinking pepper soup with hope that something is going to happen. They will be declared the winner and nothing will happen. Trust me when I say nothing will happen. These are empty people. If you like, sit at home and be eating on kobi, drink your pepper soup, Eat your faku, eat agidi. After sitting at home, somebody that is living in Europe or Asia or America will come down to the southeast and give you Biafra. Sorry for you. I say sorry for you. They don't want you to go out and support your brother because they, are, they don't want to be part of the Nigeria system. Thinking that they are doing the people in question, but they are doing you. Because Nigeria is lacking leadership problem. That is why you are tearing your clothes in the bank. Leadership problem. There's a loophole, a serious loophole. But these people are very, very unintelligent. How can men without wisdom give you freedom? YouTubers. Get out of the way and leave the people that want to go out and do what is right for them. It is their choice. It is their decision. Listen again. Anybody that is enforcing sit at home. Be it a man or a woman, you catch the person. Treat the person the way they treat a terrorist. Don't pity them. Don't have pity on them. You carry weapons and give your people. Threatening your own people, hereby making the freedom you're looking for unattractive. Making it very barbaric. You are making the freedom you are looking for barbaric. And nobody will want to be part of something that is so scary. Very unattractive because you lack wisdom. Because you are a bouncer. Because you are a showboy. A showboy. You, you brush, your, brush your hair very well. Rub a pancake. Put your lipstick as a homo. Then you come and be dancing for people. Doing show. Uh -huh. We have done this. We have done that. Tomorrow you'll be shouting tomorrow. Nigeria Army have killed us. They are stereotyped. They don't have any other thing to say. They don't have any other thing to do. They are only buying time. That is why they are using your head. That is why they are using your head. And as a black person, because you are an Igbo man, desperate for Biafra, desperate for freedom, desperate to break away from Nigeria, you don't have any other option. You are taking whatever they are telling you, swallowing it, hook, line, and sinker, because you feel you are helpless. No matter the situation you are in, don't allow anybody to use you. They are using you to feed. I'm telling you the truth and you can take it to the bank. These people will never give you freedom in 300 years time. It doesn't matter whether you go out to exercise your franchise or not. The fact remains, a winner must be declared. A winner must be declared. And who is going to suffer? You are the one. Are you not the one fighting in flea stations? Are you not the one tearing your clothes? Are you not the one crying because of food? No money, no nothing, nothing. And these people are outside the country, living in a boat, living large. On that day, when the winner will be declared, do you know what else will happen? These men and women are going to pop champagne. Their maga have fallen again. They have gotten you. And the winner will be declared. And they will drink champagne. They will dance. They will even make it life. Because they know that you don't have sense. You don't think. They know that poverty has eaten deep into your head. They know that you don't reason again. You don't see. These people are not bringing any solution anytime soon. I want you to understand it and I want you to pin it. They are not giving you freedom anytime soon. It's just wasting your time. 
and enjoy the internet space that they have. Let me repeat what I've said before. If you don't go out and exercise your civic right before 4 p.m. on the 26th of February, Bola Ahmed Tinubu or Atiku Abubakar will be declared the winner because nothing will happen. They will not do anything. They are empty. They've got nothing to offer to anybody. They don't even have anything to offer to themselves, not to talk of you. Why I am saying this today is because I know you don't have a discerning spirit to know the kind of trap these people are setting for you. Because you are not reasonable enough to think for yourself. What will make these men and women happy is the day Bola Ahmed Tinibu or Atiku Abubakar will be declared as the winner. That will be the happiest day of their life. They have achieved their purpose. That is their purpose. Shouting freedom from afar. You think they are doing it because of love. They don't love you. They despise you. They despise you so much. They are also looking for a way to survive. The way you are looking for a way to survive in Nigeria, that is exactly the way they are also looking for a way to survive in America and Europe. They don't have any single love for you. Don't you know that this group of jobless men and women are happy the way you people are suffering in Nigeria? They are happy the way you gullible people are in pains in Nigeria. The more you suffer, the more they make money. The more you are in tears, the more their account is smiling. They like the way you are suffering. If you are not suffering, you think they will see food eat? You think they will feed, they can pay their children's school fees? They will not do those things now. If you are living a happy life in Nigeria, those people will not feed. They need you to suffer more. They need you to be in pains. And at the end, they crown it by telling you, we are bringing you freedom. They can't give you freedom. A man in bondage doesn't give another man in bondage freedom. It does not happen. It's not rocket science. Isn't it funny? It's very funny. Start using your senses before it is too late. Eight years is not a joke. Eight years is not a joke. They will be glad to sit down as a YouTuber talking about you for another 10 years because they don't, they know. They don't even know anything. Not to talk of giving you freedom. Don't go and put your hope in the hands of these hopeless people. Because they are laughing at you in their closets. They will say, indeed, people living in Africa don't have sense. They are laughing at you. Now listen up. Once you catch anybody that is enforcing it at home, mm -hmm. treat the person like a criminal. Be intentional about what you are about to do on the 25th of February because it is your right. Personalize it. Take it so serious. Anyone that is going to pose as a threat in the name of unknown gunman or unknown gunwoman, don't pity them. If Bola Ahmed Tinibu or Atuku Abubakar wins on the 25th, these people will be very happy because that is what they want. They don't want a working system. They want something that will affect the people, something that will make the people to be running out that scalper, something that will make the people to always be in panic so that they can use you and they're making money via YouTube. You don't understand the game. You don't understand what they are doing. If you continue following the path of these people, if you continue following the path of these people, I am not telling you not to eat Nkwabi. It is your choice. Eat Nkwabi. Drink your pepper soup. But we are going to come here and analyze your failure at the end of the day. This people doesn't know anything about freedom. You can't give what you don't have. They don't have it. They don't have freedom. That is why they can't give you what they don't have. Because all of them are living in bondage. They are poor people living in Asia and Europe. They are looking for money. And the best way they can get the money is by using you. Get your senses. It is your right to go out and exercise your franchise. And any man you cut on that very day, trying to interrupt your movement, treat that man or woman like a terrorist. Thank you for watching. Loaded. This is powerful. This is powerful. Please, I need everybody to, to watch Lisa's video. Please like, comment, and share. Thank you once again, Lisa, for this powerful message. So strong.